if you're looking for Steve Stucker this morning, you're going to have to yeah, hike a little bit. Yeah, but it's a beautiful shot where he is. He's in Sandia Park. Steve, we're hearing something about free breakfast. Oh my, I'm gosh, you don't have to hike at all. You can drive right here. We're, I, I, I was joking that I'm in the middle of Timbuktu. This is more like in the middle of paradise up here. We're just north on 14, just past the ski area road. And uh, we would love for you to come on by and say hi to us this morning. I've got a couple of folks here, Trey and Michael from the East Mountain High School, principal music director. Having raised four kids, I know how hard it is to get them up before noon, let alone at four o'clock in the morning. And you got two good looking groups here. Absolutely do. We've got our robotics team and our music program. Good, good group of folks here. Wonderful. And I, I understand they're going to uh, entertain us this morning. Yeah, they wrote these songs. We uh, at East Mountain High School, we have a different kind of music program. These these kids write original music here and they're going to play some for no you. No way. Well, yeah. let's, let's, let's hear it. Take it away. I had a two-step to this. and lifted trucks. You're talking my language here, kids. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Now, I don't have much time, but I, I want to introduce you to the robotics team. And, and Marie's the sponsor here. Yeah. These kids just look smart. Yeah, and this, this gizmo, I wanted to say troglodytes, which goes back to my area, yeah. but it's close. Trogdor. Trogdor. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and tell me briefly what, what Trogdor does, and then we'll display it next yeah. break. Yeah, so Trogdor has an arm that is meant to capture cones and cubes um, from the competition. Okay, and cones then, and cubes. Uh -huh. And then it drives <laughs> as well too, but we can't drive it here today. So hopefully we can demo it picking up. We didn't have the cones and cubes, but we have a ball, so we can demo that. They, they're telling me that they, they go, they have competitions all over the all over the country. Turn around here. She's got pins from a few of the competitions they've been at. And when they announce their, their number, there's a special thing that goes with it. They're a competition Petition number is seven five four zero. <laughs> what else would the Timberwolves do? Show me what this baby does. All right, okay. So, Enable. Right. Yeah. Hey. Enabled. Okay. Grabbing the okay. Grabbing stuff. Go ahead and raise it. So we just raised it up, and then we can place our game pieces on the scoring platform. And then we can stow it so that the arm doesn't get bumped off. So this is kind of like a, a robotic LeBron James. I mean, yeah. he's aging a little bit. Perhaps he yeah. could use a little mechanical robotic help here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Marie, how, how, how's the team done? I mean, I'm real impressed with these kids. How do oh, you do I in these competitions? Oh, they have grown so much. We've had this team for five years. Julia is one of our seniors who's been with us. And um, what they've been able to create, this is our best robot by far their mechanical ability has grown and their passion and just their their character really ties in with stem mm -hmm. and 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 of course you know there's a bigger bigger push for for the young ladies to get involved yes. and i say like a girl on your pin over here <laughs> uh <-huh. Absolutely. laughs> and and how many how many students involved all together in your program At 24 students all and, right yeah and 11 mentors from like well, well we'll keep up the good work i i, I want to see trey the principal here now you you um 
graduated from East Mountain High School. No, I oh. graduated from Manzano before oh. East Mountain High School was an option. Got you, got yes. you. Okay, tell the story real quick about how we met originally. You came out to Manzano High School. I was a student body president. This is the year 2000. Okay. <laughs> and you did a remote from there. And we had a conversation. You told me about how you were student body president back in Nebraska. <laughs> and back in the old days. Now I'm principal here at East Mountain High School. Well, you moved up fast and you've got a lot to be proud of. A real good bunch of kids and Thanks for getting them up and getting them out early. What time did you set your alarm for this morning, young man? 3.30 a.m. That away, that away. All right. The, uh, the music uh, group is here, and uh, this is a very cool program. Uh, the instructor was telling me, you guys write and, and play your own music. That, yes, that, 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 that's pretty cool. They did a number for us earlier, you know. Back in the day when I was in high school, I was I, I, I was quite the musical rock star, you know. And I, I could probably give you a couple of couple, couple, couple of tips if you'd like. Would, would, would you like me to, to play something this morning? You know, Mr. Stucker, I think we'd all love to hear you play Far, Far Away. Oh, you, Far, you, Far you, Away. You, uh, I, that that uh, may be the best suggestion you'll get all morning, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. We've got all of the first responders. Well, not all of them, but we've got such a, such a big group out here, a fire... Uh, BCSO, thank you very much for, for coming out this morning. And then we, we, we've got who I've been billing as the, the best looking folks in, in the state of New Mexico. I have to, I have to ask these, these two young gentlemen here. I, I was told you were wondering how old I was. And I uh, would like for you to take a guess here. Go for it. What do you, what do you think? 21. 68. 68. 75. 75. You guys are much gentler than the kid at church that said 100. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 68 at the end of the year. God willing, and the creek don't rise, as uh, as Grandma used to say. Steve Stucker, is that a beautiful spot in Sandia Park right now? Yeah, Steve has been eating, of course, and dancing his way through the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I cannot say enough nice things. I'm running out of superlatives for Lantern Ridge Farm Market and Nursery. Never been here before. Can't wait to bring Rose and, and, and my mom and anybody I know. Just quite spectacular. North on 14, just past Sandia Crest Road. Just keep going to the north and you'll see it on the right-hand side. Just a beautiful facility. And, oh, my gosh, they're feeding us all. Free breakfast burritos and pastries for what? about another 20 minutes if you're in the neighborhood come on by and say hi i'd love to see you i'll probably stick around till eight o'clock nine o'clock maybe until the end of may i kind of like it here we've got a lot of a lot of the folks from east mountain high school the timberwolves are out here they brought out both their music team and their robotics team now wait a minute i'm seeing a few students that weren't here for the call at five o'clock they just <laughs> just kind of showed up at the last minute that's okay i'm with you before i took this job i thought it was illegal to be awake before eight o'clock in the morning. I, I want to talk with a, a couple of guys who are part of a very important group, friends of the Sandias. Sam and Don are here. And you, you presented me with this beautiful book, and I'm, I'm looking over two million visitors every year to about a hundred miles of trails up here in this area. You guys help maintain them and keep everything in tip top shape. Yeah, that's the, right. The group's about 25 years old now, and we have crews go out in the field uh, four days a week to clear trails and build new trails and re-roof buildings and do whatever maintenance the Sandy Ranger District uh, has a need for. And Sam, you said you have a project today, a big tree fell over and you're just not going to let it lay there. <laughs> That's right, we have to cut the branches off and cut the, the trunk into fireplace links and uh, the Mountain Christian Church uh, donates the, the wood to people in the East Mountains uh, who need firewood in the winter. Well, that's that, really uh, beautiful. And we publish this field guide to the Sandia Mountains. Well, thank you very, very much for all that you do. Pass along our gratitude to all of the volunteers. And uh, we'll post information on my Facebook page, Steve Stucker, New Mexico Weatherman, about how you can get involved in this group and find out more about all the fine work that they do. We, Love you all. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I say we want to thank Channel 4 for being very supportive of all of our programs. Well, we we love it. We love it. We, so, we, we really, really you, depend sir. on you, and we're so grateful. So come by. Say hi. We'll be here for a while. Take some time to really enjoy your life today, and may God bless.